We've hit the perfect storm of concrete price increases. I'm going to show you just how dramatically ours went up in a moment. Hey everybody, Mike here. So another company we use all the time has dramatically raised their prices for 2023. If we take a look at their new price sheet we got here on the left, you can see compared to the one on the right, there are 3,000 PSI concrete for 2023 is $137 a yard. And for 2022, it was $122. So that's a $15 a yard price increase just for one certain design mix i mean we use that a lot for just pouring our regular concrete floors and then we'll use the 3500 and the 4000 for more exterior stuff you know patios pool decks driveways stuff like that i mean pretty much across the board it went up 15 dollars a yard for everything and i want to know from you guys you know what why do you think that is guys i mean what they're telling us is the their cost for the price of cement has dramatically gone up and then their admixture prices have dramatically gone up so those two things combined have really pushed the price per yard up for concrete and then if you add that with the added cost for labor just to keep good drivers just to keep good people and then the fuel surcharges they got to put on the concrete because I mean a, a price a gallon of diesel here in Maine is five fifty six bucks a gallon you know it's kind of the perfect storm for uh, concrete price increases. I have never seen prices go up $15 at one time ever in my 40 years I've been doing this. Usually you'll see a little jump like two or three dollars a yard, but never a dramatic one like this. Um, you know, I wanna know from you guys, what for you guys that do concrete or buy concrete, what are you seeing for price per yard increases? And then what is your price per yard? You know, list, try to list your state the price per yard, what you're using for a PSI and how much it went up in the comments. And then that'll give all of us a really good idea of just what we're seeing around the country. And if we're seeing the same types of dramatic increases, because, you know, I don't know, maybe your cement prices haven't gone up quite as much as these guys and your price per yard might not have to go up quite so much. Now, I did a video just a little while ago, maybe a month ago, where I went over another company we use uh, at price sheets right here and that that got a really lot of good feedback and here's theirs right here their price for 3000 is 139 this year and last year it was 125 so this $14 a yard um, right there basically the same thing between these two companies that I use the most you know and I'll pour we'll pour 5,000 yards a year so if you had you know 5,000 yards times $15 a yard is $75,000 it's gonna cost just to pour the same amount of concrete this year as we poured last year. So, I mean, we're, we're going to have to pass those prices on to, to our customers. There's no way we can absorb that. And it's just in the long run, I mean, it's just everybody's going to take a hit. Now, here are some prices I got from that other video on some different states um, you can take a look at and just, you know, compare them. Parkersburg, West Virginia, $230 a yard for 4,000 PSI. I mean, when you're getting up into the 200s, that, that's pretty crazy. Pittsburgh, 4,167. So they're dramatically different in different parts of the country. Uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, I got 2,500 PSI, $300 a yard, that guy said they're paying, which seems probably okay down there, but it's just the, the price increases we're seeing are just crazy. And I want to get you guys' thoughts and how, your feelings on what 2023 is going to be like. You think you think business is going to stay the same? You think we're going to be as busy or or what's going on? Right now, <clears throat> in the early spring of 2023, we're not seeing any drop off in business. We're still getting tons of calls. Uh, people just <clears throat> wanting work done, wanting estimates done. And then they just want to get you on the schedule is what we're seeing. There's just no, no wishy washing around about what the price is. They just, they need you scheduled if you do good work and they're willing to pay, you know, whatever the prices are gonna be, it seems like. So at least here in Maine, that's what we're getting. We're, we haven't had to tell anybody we're not taking any more work yet. Like last year in April, we actually had to, I had to put on my voicemail that we're not taking any more work for 2022 because we're booked for the rest of the year. And that was in April. Um, 
I'm not seeing that quite yet for 2023, but we're still seeing we're still seeing the, the calls, the emails, the text, just about wanting prices, especially for exterior stuff, pool decks and stamp patios, stuff like that. Um, and you know, we we had to increase our prices a good 20 25 percent over last year just because of the price of concrete going up quite so much and obviously you know our costs go up too our labor costs our insurance costs our fuel costs go up and we pay you know we pay our guys really really well and then we have benefits we have health insurance we got workman's comp insurance so we have payroll taxes and all that kind of stuff that that just those things never decrease they always increase so there's always a an increase in those per year but I mean for us I think the price of concrete like we usually we usually price out concrete on floors like this per square foot so you know before if we're figuring just the cost of concrete itself at let's say two dollars a square foot you know we're probably gonna have to figure it at at 250 or three dollars a square foot for this year and then add all the other costs onto that. So we're going to be up around 455, maybe 550 a square foot just to figure out prices for a for a four inch concrete floor like this. You know, the, the price of concrete itself with the fiber mesh and then the, the labor cost come in, pour it, power trial, finish it and all that. But it's crazy, guys. I don't know. Just, you know, what are you guys what are you guys thinking about that? We, we pour. You know, we pour concrete every single day for at least eight months straight out of the year. You know, the other four months when we start getting into late November, December, January, February, and some of March, it's kind of cold here in Maine. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we get a lot of snow. The, price, the temperatures get below freezing. They stay really, really cold for at least three straight months. So there's not much concrete being poured here, you know, probably 12 to 15 weeks out of the year easily because it's just so cold now we can pour in the winter if it's inside and it's heated like if this house here was decked over had heat inside and it was 20 degrees outside we could come in here and pour this through a window through a door you know whether we pump it or wheelbarrow it or whatever we do so we can stay busy we can keep working but it's just a matter of this outside stuff like this we can't do and we you know, if the crew was bigger, it's basically just me, Darren, and Luke, uh, Jim there in the black sweatshirt. We're actually working for him today. He did the foundation, and then Harvey in the orange. He uh, he works with Jim quite a bit, but he works for himself. And then he'll come help us pour floors. He's been doing concrete floors for at least 15 years, if not longer. So he really knows what he's doing. So whenever we have a job or two that we're doing in a day, we'll we'll call Harvey up and he'll come help us and we'll just pay him a day rate basically. Um, and then he goes and does his own stuff after that. But I don't know. We uh, we look like we're going to be busy for 2023 and beyond. It doesn't really seem like it's slowing down, even though inflation's pretty high. But we're seeing cost increases basically across the board. Um, and as a business owner, you know, you've got to figure all that stuff in. I don't know, you know, Jim, I think when he does a foundation like this, he'll figure the, the footings, the foundation, and the floor in his price. And I believe he charges by the yard for all that stuff. So I think he's up around, you know, between 450 and $500 a yard that he charges, you know, for all his costs, you know, materials, labor, rebar, plastic you know set up all that stuff traveling and that's 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 pretty good money to do concrete work 500 bucks a yard so i mean how do you got do you guys price stuff by the square foot do you price stuff by the yard do you price stuff by the lineal foot if you do foundations he he's got aluminum forms you can see those three foot forms are aluminum and they leave a really really nice finish on the concrete walls this walls, you know, he's, this is what we call a walkout basement, and it's basically at ground level on one side, and then it's got to be down in the ground, six, seven, eight feet on the other side because of the slope of the land. We do quite of these in Maine, and then we'll just do regular basements where it's eight foot walls all the way around. We'll pull the floors down inside for a regular basement or a cellar or whatever you guys call that. But these floors, you know, the concrete mix, the com company we're using today is the one that went up 15 bucks a yard. And then 
the other company there that's pretty actually pretty they're only a mile from my shop they went up 14 bucks a yard um, so we're gonna have to start changing our square foot prices to reflect that that big increase and everybody's gonna end up like I said everybody's gonna end up taking a hit just I mean you guys when when you get price increases on things you just you just don't absorb those prices everybody everybody's got to raise their prices across the board so let's just hope that I know our mortgage rates have gone up quite a bit is that going to slow down the price of housing we haven't seen that in Maine at least we don't experience it with what we do but we're pretty specialized in what we do and you know there's not a lot of guys that do what we do on the level of what we do it at there's a few around but not many so there's a pretty big uh, a pretty big request for us to do work whether it's 10 minutes from the shop 30 minutes from the shop or even two hours from where we are we get we get calls from people even out of state it's an hour and a half from us to get from where we live into New Hampshire and then about two hours for us to get into Massachusetts from where we live in Maine and we get calls all time all, all the time from people in those areas just wanting us to come do their work hoping that we'll travel that far because either they can't get anybody to return their call or they just can't find anybody a, of quality that they trust that'll come do their work and they see us doing all this work in these videos and that just builds some trust with them that hey these guys these guys at least look like they know what they're doing let's call them see if see if we'll get them to come to our floors and you know we uh, you know we can't just can't travel usually two hours away to do a, a floor like this unless unless we're not busy and we don't have the work but that just usually isn't the case and a guy like Jim here, the guy in the black sweatshirt, like he's a regular contractor that we normally work for. He'll have, I don't know how many floors he'll have like this a year for us. Let's just say he's got 25 to 50 of these a year for us. You know, when he's got one ready, he kind of counts us on us to do it for him. So we got to make sure that we leave room in the schedule for him. And then we've got another contractor that we work for that probably does 100 to 150 of these a year and they count on us to do all their floors when they're ready and most of them we want to do before the builders come in and start decking and building so you know when they call when they do the foundation then it gets backfilled with gravel they want us right there to do the floor and sometimes there's not a lot of notice for that it might be a week notice that we before that's ready we know that's ready sometimes it could be two or three weeks which is better but Typically not a lot of notice when, you know, you work for these regular contractors and they're just pounding in the foundations. And then on top of that, you know, we do a lot of slabs, just just slabs right on grade where there's no foundation. You know, we'll come in, the excavator, the excavator gets the gravel all done. We come in and do the forms, whether it's two by twelves or more for the for the thickened edges, get that set up, get the poly down, the wire, the rebar, come in and pour it, finish it. So, I mean, I don't know how many, we'll, maybe we'll do 50 of those and then we'll do a bunch of pool decks too. I mean, we could, we could probably do, we could probably do 50 in ground pool decks a year. Um, and really we take about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 of them because we have so much of this other work and per square foot, per square foot, we'll get probably twice as much to go do a broom finished pool deck as we will a floor like this but like I said it's hard to tell these regular contractors that just feed us work and they don't ask for any prices they just you come in do the work you bill them and there's a check in the mail the next week it's hard to say no to these guys and take on some of that other work when they just constantly feed you work year every you know every week all year long year after year after year and the pool deck stuff is it, it is good work. It's it's a little more tedious work, you know, with the foreman and, and uh, the stripping and all that. But it's pretty good work. It's just that it's nothing that probably we want to do every single day of the year. When we come, come in and pour a floor like this, that's basically all prep for us and ready to go. You know, you show up, you pour, you finish, and then you're done. And uh, that's basically how that works. But you can see Darren working that vibra screed right there. That makes pouring floors like this pretty easy, especially that battery one. 
And that battery one, we just have a little five amp Milwaukee battery in there. That'll do, that'll do, I don't know, four or five of these floors like this before you even have to take it out and recharge it. So that's a pretty small battery in case you guys are wondering. That's also a 12 foot board on there. And then, you know, we'll bull float this, get it smooth, and then it'll sit for, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours maybe. Darren, either Darren or Luke will stay here and power trial this. You know, while one or two of us goes and either pour something else or set something up for the next day or the next two days or the or the, the whole week, you know, depending on what we got going on and what's ready to set up. But that's a pretty typical day for us right there. I don't know. What's a typical day for you guys? Let me know down in the comments. Um, Harvey's right there. He's scraping the chute down. So if there's any concrete left over on those trucks, in case you guys are wondering, they don't usually they don't usually dump it out on site here they'll take that back to the concrete plant and they usually have these blocks set up and if they have enough in there to make a block a block is usually i think they're around a half of a yard uh, and the forms will be all set up and ready to go they'll dump the leftover into that block and that's how they kind of get rid of the leftover concrete Unless they just don't have any blocks left to pour, you know, if they filled up all the forms, then they'll dump it in a pile and they'll end up just crushing that concrete and use it for crushed concrete aggregate. But and we don't typically have to worry about any leftover concrete dumping it out on site unless the homeowner has a place for it and they want to dump it out. But uh, Luke's going to finish that edge up right there. He's going to screed that by hand, get that screeded. We'll get it bull floated and then we'll get out of here. But that's you know i wanted to go over those concrete prices the dramatic increase in concrete prices this year for 2023 let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you guys like these kind of videos if you if you like concrete stuff please please uh consider subscribing and hit the like button if you like this kind of stuff thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one